believe it or not, but the leaves on trees and grass, anything with chlorophyll, is highly reflective of infrared light. What that means is that if you go out outside on a sunny day versus going outside on a sunny day surrounded by green, green spaces, you're gonna get probably two, three, four times more infrared light in that environment than you would without that environment. You can check this out. You go to Google and just type in infrared photography and click images and you will see any kind of infrared filtered light when it shows a tree or grass, it, it looks like it's lit up, like it's got snow on it. It's bright white. It's very reflective. On a hot summer day, if you go outside and touch some object that's in the sun, it's gonna be extremely hot. Touch a leaf, it's, it's not hot at all. It's because it's reflecting that light. In fact, the coolest place in a garden on a hot summer day is where? It's under a tree because all of, that, all of that infrared light is being reflected off. So we know from years and decades of data that people who live in green spaces have reduced diabetes, reduced hypertension, reduced mortality, just living in green spaces.